In this video, we want to see how to look up the first, look up the last, and look up all matching records. Now we have a lookup table where we're entering product prices by date. So as we get the latest price, we add them to the bottom. Now we want to see three different lookup formulas. The first is to look up the first. If we were looking up quad, we'd look up and get this 43 because it's the first quad. That would be like if we're looking up a historical price. Here we want to look up the last. We want to find this quad and get the latest price. And here we want to look up and return all quad records. Well, when you have duplicates in a lookup table and you want to look up the first, you have to use exact match. Now, we're first going to see how to do all three of these formulas in Microsoft 365. Then we'll go see how to do it in any version of Excel over on the old school sheet. Now, to look up the first item when there's duplicates, we'll use XLOOKUP. The lookup value is quad, comma, lookup array. That's where we're going to try and get a match, comma, return array. This is the column with the items we want to return. Now, because XLOOKUP does exact match by default, we don't have to put in any of the other arguments. So that's our formula for looking up the first when there are duplicates. And sure enough, it got 43. To look up the last, we do almost exactly the same formula. There's the lookup value. We're going to get a match there, comma, return the price. And now, comma, if you want something in the formula to appear in the cell when the item you're looking up is not available, you put something there, comma. The default is exact match, so we don't need to put anything in this argument, comma. It's the last argument. Search mode, the default is search first to last. But if we put minus 1, now it'll go from the bottom to the top. And when they're duplicates, it'll get the 1 at the bottom. So we're going to put minus 1, and that's our formula. When I hit Enter, sure enough, it got the last price for quad. Now when we want to return all the records for quad, this is where Microsoft 365 really shines. Because in just a moment, we'll see the old school formula. And it's very complicated. But here, we just use the filter function. Now I want to return all the records for whatever product I'm looking up. So in the top left corner of the table, I'm going to click to put the table name in. That's the array, comma. And we want to include only the products that are equal to quad. And that's it. That's the most amazing lookup formula that we have in Microsoft 365 Excel, because it means we can look up one value and get multiple matches and return them all. So when I hit Enter, sure enough, there's all the quad prices. If I change this to Carlota, there's the first price for Carlota, the last price, and all the records. All right, let's see how to do these formulas in any version of Excel. We're going to go over to the sheet Old School. Now, when you're looking up the first item and you have duplicates, if you're using exact match, then every lookup function in Excel will get the first item. So we can simply use VLOOKUP. There's our lookup value, comma, the table, product, and then price, comma, column index, 1, 2. The price is in the second column, so I type a 2 comma, and we want exact match so you can put false or zero. And that's our formula. When I hit Enter, it's going to get the first price for Carlota. Now, if we're going to look up last, we're going to have to get a little tricky. We're going to do the oldest lookup function there is. This was in the original VisiCalc spreadsheet, lookup. Now, lookup is amazing because it only does the approximate match, which will help us when we're getting the last item. It can handle array operations without any special keystroke. And it ignores errors. Now, for lookup value, we're going to give it 2. Yes, the number 2, comma. The lookup vector, we're going to type a 1. And then we're going to divide. 
And in parentheses, I'm going to say, hey, this product column, which ones of you are equal to Carlota? Close parentheses. If we look at just the array operation, because there's a comparative operator, when I hit F9, I get trues and falses. Now when you take 1 divided by false, you're going to get a divide by 0 error. 1 divided by true will give us 1. Control Z. Now if I highlight the entire thing, including the 1 divided by and F9, there I get errors and 1s. Now lookup will ignore the errors. It will handle the array operation we did perfectly. And because we're doing approximate match, when you put a lookup value that is bigger than anything in the array or range, it'll always get the last one. Control Z. Now those two arguments together determine the position, comma, and then result vector. Well, we're trying to get price. Close parentheses, and that's the formula to look up the last price. Now, we're not going to do this formula here to look up all the matching records. Oh, that's a crazy formula. But here's the thing. Before we had filter, we did this all the time. And we didn't know any better. We didn't know there was such a thing as filter. So we did it, and it was cool. But now we have filter. Oh, so much easier. Now, if you want to see how to do that formula, I have a video here also. If this table is going to be sorted in some other way besides chronological, then you need to check out this video. All right, we'll see you next video.